our strength, and our Redeemer. Amen. Please be seated, and I would like to invite all of the kids to come up, and you can extend that to anybody who's a kid at heart, if you would like. So please come up and join me here. And we'd like to, Martha's already said it, but we'd like to say a special welcome to the Beavers and Scouts and Cubs, and thank you all very much for being here. If you guys didn't know, today is also, we call it Baden-Powell Sunday, so that's the, the Sunday when Scouts and Beavers come to church, because the person who founded the Scouting Movement, um, last name is Baden-Powell, um, there was a Lord in there, but help me out guys, what's the first name? Lord Robert Baden-Powell. So we remember Lord Robert Baden-Powell for starting the, the Cubs and Scouts um, and Beavers movement um, to help teach necessary skills and um, all kinds of exciting things. So I'm going to ask you guys to sit down for a moment. And we do have a microphone here, so uh, when you answer questions, uh, we'll try to use the microphone so that everybody can hear. Now, were you all listening to the gospel story today? Yeah? A little, little, little tricky in parts, but um, uh, so D Jesus said some pretty interesting things. Can anybody repeat any of the interesting things that you heard Jesus say in the gospel story today? All right. Um, love your neighbor. Can you say it again loud for everybody? Love your neighbor. Excellent. He said, love your neighbor. Did he, do you remember anything else he said? Any, Eliza? He also said to love your enemy. He said to love your enemy. Excellent. Anybody else? I'll, gi I'll give you a couple hints. Did he say anything about if somebody hits you? Remember that one? Owen? Let them hit you again. <coughs> as... <laughs> As strange as it sounds, that is exactly what it says. It says, he said, if somebody hits you on one cheek, then turn and let them hit the other one too. So that's right, boil down. It's if somebody hits you, let them hit you again, which I know sounds really strange. So we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Jesus said a lot of things that sounded really strange. So very good. Thank you, Owen. Anybody else? Did he say anything about a pack? He didn't say backpack, but you could think of it as backpack. Anybody? Carrying a pack? That's okay. He said that if, if somebody asks you to carry their pack for a mile, don't just stop at once. Carry it for a second mile. Does that make sense? Is that yeah? A little? No? Okay. It's kind of confusing. That's good. That it, is, it is kind of confusing. So he said, love your, your neighbor. He also said, love your enemies. He said, pray for your neighbors, but also pray for your enemies and those who might not have good thoughts in their hearts about you. Um, he said, pray for them and not just, you know, be nice to them, but do good things for them, which is hard, right? Is, it, is that easy or hard? Hard. That's right. I just want to be clear. When somebody is not being nice to you or doesn't have nice things to say to you, and you're trying to be nice to them, that's, it's not an easy thing to do. Now, as a part of this, we also usually have a mystery box. Can anybody see something? That, the mystery box, okay. We'll need a couple of people at least. Can you guys go get the mystery box? Please and thank you. Whoa. You got it? All right. It's, it's heavy. Thanks, Charlotte. Okay, and can you guys carefully, let's take it up, let's open it up and take a look at what's in there. A backpack. A backpack. That's right. And, oh, is it, is it heavy? Yeah. yeah. All right. Get, get, just unzip it and take a look and tell me what's in there. You don't have to take the stuff fit out. Just, just tell me what you see. Books. Books. Okay, books. So you don't have to take them out. You can just leave them in there. Zip it back up. All right. Okay, I'll confess. It is Theo's backpack. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think if there is anything in the front, that's just because I forgot to take it out. Okay. Does anybody want to try the backpack on? 
Charlotte had her hand up first. We can have a couple people. All right. Let's stand up. It's a little backpack, but got it. Okay. And how far would you want to carry that backpack? Um, all across the church. All across the church. W would you would you want to carry it like all across town? No. no, it's pretty heavy, right? Okay. Did did anybody else want to try that back? It is pretty heavy. Yeah, Simon. No, that's that's okay. All right. So there's something about the stuff that Jesus was saying in the gospel reading because what he's talking about. He, he says, you'd have to be listening extra special careful to catch this, but he says, you've heard it said. So that's another way of saying, people say, an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth. That means that if, if somebody were to come up and hit you, you would hit them right back. And Jesus is saying, don't do that. He says the confusing thing of, what again, Owen? If somebody hits you. Let them hit you again. Yeah, that, that weird, confusing thing. Now, there's some people who are doing some study and research said that Jesus talked about what we say is non-violence, which is really hard, another thing that we mentioned. So that means not reacting to violence with violence. So no matter what happens, not hitting people or hurting people, which can be very, very difficult. But there's something about what Jesus taught that said don't do that. I've got something here. Has anybody ever seen a picture of Jesus with a sword? No, I haven't either. There might be one somewhere, but I've never seen one. Because Jesus never said, pick up your sword, we're going to defeat the Romans and fight all the people. He never said that. He never said that. Simon? Um, I'm actually going to quote, there's another piece of scripture. It's just made of wood. We made it for, uh, for one of the, the um, Sunday school presentations we had, um, actually around Lent. And there's, there's something from the prophet Isaiah where he says, turn your swords into plowshares. Plowshare, right? What's a plowshare, right? Do you know, Simon? A plowshare? Okay, that's all right. So a, a plowshare is something that you use to dig up the ground to plant vegetables. So like if you're farming, use a plowshare. So it's the hard work of not responding to violence with violence. And even in the older tradition, it says, if you have something that usually we would use to, to fight, turn it into something that's the exact opposite. So turn a sword into something that you can use for farming to plant food to feed more people. Because, like Elijah had said, we're not just supposed to pray for and be nice to and take care of the people in our own community. Like, think about just St. George's. It's easy to be nice and pray for and help out the people who are in your own church. But outside of that, or outside of Cubs and Scouts, but outside of that, we're supposed to think of other people, people who sometimes even don't like us. And so that swords into plowshares idea, we're supposed to not fight them with swords. We're supposed to grow food so that there's enough for everybody, even the people that maybe we don't like so much or that they might not like us. And it is hard. It's not an easy thing. And if somebody says, hey, carry my backpack for one mile, hard work. But Jesus says, think about carrying it not just one mile, but think about carrying it for two. Now, there is some teaching and wisdom that says in that, that way of nonviolence that by carrying, in Jesus' day, by carrying somebody's load an extra mile or by turning your cheek so that they could hit you again, that it was trying to say, hey, we're equal. And we should be treated the same way because Jesus treated everybody as an equal. Didn't matter if they were a king or, or a Roman governor like Pilate or if they were somebody who was very poor and had no house, no home, no, no food to eat, like refugees, or homeless people, Jesus treated everybody 
the same. And his teaching is that we need to treat everybody the same. Doesn't matter if we're rich or poor or where we're from or what language we speak or what church we're a part of or anything, any group. Treat people the same. And in fact, don't just treat them the same. Treat them better. Treat them better than you want to be treated. So if somebody says, in a nice way or in a not nice way, here, carry this, you say, yes, I'll carry it, and I'll carry it longer and farther than you even asked. Somebody says, give me your jacket. You say, here, you can have your shirt. And that's a little funny one, too, because in Jesus' day, if somebody gave them their, their coat and then they gave them their tunic, they would have been naked. But the thing is, is that apparently, I mean, same in Jesus' day as it is in our day, usually it's not a good thing to see somebody naked in public. So doing that would be like an example of saying, okay, you, you, want, my, you want my shirt? Here, take, take all of my clothes. That's fine. And then everybody would see and say, like, that's, that's not right. You, you got to give that person back their clothes. A, nobody wants to see them naked in public. That's not nice. It's cold, uncomfortable. Um, but that's not right to just take somebody's stuff like that. Jesus says, we need to follow those rules, but not just follow them, go beyond them. So that we're not just not being angry or we're, we're not fighting with somebody, but that we're actively seeking to help them and be nice to them and do everything we can. And part of that is remembering that it's, it's hard. It's not always easy, but it is the good thing to do. It is the right thing to do, and it's what God is calling us to do. So on that note, I'd like to turn it over to Sixth St. St. Catherine Scouting. And I, I, I know you're probably going to do this, but uh, uh, we want to ask, especially the, the scouts and beavers uh, and, and cubs who are here, to remind us of what their motto is because there's something really important there. So I, when they say that, I want you guys to listen especially and pay attention, okay? And thank you for helping with the mystery box. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joel Chatters. I'm with the Sixth St. Catharines and have been promoted to area commissioner here in St. Catharines. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming and staying here because uh, they don't want to hear me sing, but they certainly want to hear you sing. Uh, if you could bring that sword, uh, I'm going to step up here. Uh, it's it's remarkable. They uh, they asked me to say a few words about scouting, and with every word that you spoke, it just set the set the talk up e even better. Because our scouts and our, our beavers, who's the beavers? The guys in the vests. Uh, you can put your hands up. Their motto is, you remember it? Sharing, sharing, sharing. And the cubs in the gray shirt. Their promise is, I promise to do my best to do my duty to God and the Queen to keep the law of the wolf cub pack and to do a good turn to somebody every day. So just what you were saying today, it fits right, uh, their, their scout promise leads right into your sermon. And for those of you who don't know anything about scouting, the scouts uh, of all ages shake with their left hand right? They shake with their left hand. And in today's service, I've never seen a sword brought out to a church service before, but ironically today, they say uh, a person in, uh, in the past would hold their shield in their left hand and their sword in their right. And how do you place trust in somebody else who has a sword a scout will drop his shield and shake with his left hand and say, I have all the tr trust in you, enough trust in you to drop my shield, even though you're ca carrying a sword. And that's how the shaking of the left hand uh, became uh, known in scouting. Little known fact there. One of the things that we also like to do in scouting is to be able to uh, communicate with everybody across the world, whether you speak English, or French, or any other language, or don't speak at all, we have a song called Ging Gang Goo, and everybody 
uh, will learn, can learn the words and I hope that you'll uh, join in. I know that there's a couple people in the corner over there that have had some dealings with scouting in the past that may be able to help us here and, uh, and uh, some past Cubs leaders as well. So if I could get you guys to help uh, sing, the, sing the song with me and then everybody can join in. And the words, the words go, ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo, ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo. Hey la, hey la shay la, hey la shay la, hey la oh, hey la. Hey la Shayla, hey la Shayla, hey la ho. Shully wally, shully wally, shully wally, shully wally, oompa, oompa, oompa. And I already heard some people uh, singing this, uh, so I think there's more past scouts and scouters in this room than I know. So, what we'll do is we'll sing it twice, and then I'll get half. How about you guys do the oompas, and then you guys can sing, and we'll do a round. Now you were catching on pretty fast. Did you want to help me? No. <laughs> You'll help. Perfect. Okay. You ready, everybody? Ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo, ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo. Hey la, hey la shay la. Hey la shay la hey la oh hey la hey la shay la hey la shay la hey la oh shally wally shally wally shally wally shally wally oompa 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 ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo ging gang goo Ging gang gooly 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 watch a ging gang goo, ging gang goo. Hey la, hey la shay la, hey la shay la, hey la oh. Hey la, hey la shay la, hey la shay la, hey la oh. Shelly wally, shelly wally, shelly wally, shelly wally, oompa. Thank you very much, everybody. For, for anybody that wants to, has youth or wants to be a leader or scouter in, here, Monday nights in the, in the back gym, we have uh, ages anywhere from 5 to 14 right now. So we're looking for youth and for scouters. Thank you, Joel. And uh, thank you to all of you for helping with that song and with the sermon today. You can stay up here. We're going to, um, you can continue to be up here with us. And uh, we're all going to stand now and share some words of, uh, of faith and the things that we believe. And we'll continue with the time of prayer.